February 2nd. It's actually Groundhog Day here in uh, Fully Tech Mechanical. So last time we left you, uh, we were having trouble with this number one coil dropping out. We went ahead and we took this connector apart, found where uh, each wire comes through over at the ECM, and uh, ohmed each wire out, wiggled it, and could not replicate the fault. Uh, we then played around with some pliers and tightened each one of these uh, connectors, try to close uh, close them up so that they make a better connection in on the uh, ignition coil pins. And despite our best efforts, we could not get uh, couldn't get anything we were happy with, anything that would be reliable long term. So after scouring all of our sources, we came across a company called DIY Auto Tune. They sent us down a pair of these connectors. They're about six dollars a piece, uh, with about twenty dollars shipping to Canada. But we had to have them, so. Um, these are identical connectors. They actually use these on, I think, GM LS ignition coils. So just so you so you know what to look for. Um, I tried Merck, I tried uh, CDI, and nobody was very helpful. So uh, we did find this, and that's going to save us a lot of heartache trying to find a connector going through DigiKey's twenty five thousand possibilities. So this is what the new connector looks like, and these are the pins. They're nice. They actually send you. Uh, four pins for each uh, connector so you can screw one up and still have something to work with and not have to order another. I ordered two sets just because it's a bit of a pain to wait a week for parts if you screw something up. So, And it's nice to have one in the shop. It'll probably save my, save my bacon someday. These are what the crimpers for Metropack connectors look like. You're not going to be able to crimp them with a pair of pliers or a pair of off-the-shelf crimpers. These are like a $100 set of fancy crimping pliers. I'm going to show you how they work here in a minute. So I've, I've pulled this connector apart, and I've cut, I'm going to cut one wire and crimp one connector at a time. Uh, you just got to keep in mind and really pay attention to what you're doing so you don't end up with a tangled mess as you pull each connector out and slide in the new connector. Again, paying attention to uh, what you're doing here. It's really easy to get confused. I know it seems simple, but it it can get confusing pretty fast. Cut the wire, or cut our first wire, uh, stripped it back about a quarter inch, put the uh, silicone seal on, and actually slid the connector, the uh, the new body, on over the wire. These metro packs are this style. The pins are actually pulled through, so when we're all done, we're going to pull this this way onto the pin as opposed to some of the weather pack stuff that goes in from the back that's a, a little bit more forgiving. This, if you mess one thing up, you're gonna be chasing your tail for a little while. So what we've done, we've got the uh, crimper set up and we've actually got the connector in the crimper. These crimpers have like a ratchet mechanism on them so they'll, um, they won't reverse. There is a little safety release if you need to back it off, but if you do it right, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm going to try to uh, hold the camera with one hand and crimp with the other, so bear with me a second. So we've got the crimper, we've got the cable or the uh, the wire into the uh, connector till it stops or the end of where it's uh, been stripped. And we just a matter of running that till it's tight and then it releases. Then we have to go back and tighten this extra little piece right here. There's a little tag. There's our chocolate lab getting excited about his ball that's stuck under this boat. We're going to go back with a different uh, die and tighten that one, which will actually wrap itself around the insulation. You see how that does a really, really nice, sorry, I'm trying to hold it, try to get to focus. Really, really nice clean crimp, and it also grabs that insulation, so it uh, works kind of like a strain relief. Something else to note here too is uh, no matter uh, how bad you want, that camera's not going to focus for us. No matter how badly you uh, want to, do not, please just resist the urge to twist the, the end of that wire. You want those all nice and straight. That lines up all those connector or conductors, each strand, and it makes a much cleaner connection uh, to the crimp or to the connector, and then uh, ultimately a better conduct conduction, and it doesn't expand. When you twist those wires, it actually makes the diameter of the wire a little bit bigger. So uh, resist the urge. I know it's something that uh, you've probably done your entire life, but if you can get away with uh, not twisting those wires and still get the connector together, your life's going to be a lot easier. It's, it's how it's done at the factory, and it's done that way for a reason. So now we've got all three of our connectors crimped on. Uh, we aren't going to solder them or anything because that's going to 
um, end up wicking down